The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law. And in this video, I'm going to discuss recent changes to Iowa guardianship laws in 2021. Parents are not always able to take care of their children. These situations may have arisen as a result of death injury, or some other circumstance. In such cases, another individual, usually a family member or acquaintance, may petition the court for legal authority to care for the child and to make day-to-day decisions on the child's behalf. Guardian is the title given to this person. The Iowa Probate Act has governed minor guardianship proceedings for several years. A recent minor guardianship legislation took effect on January 1st, 2020. The Iowa Minor Guardianship Proceedings Act is the name of the current statute. This new law places further restrictions on people who choose to be guardians of minors and strengthens rights for biological parents, prospective guardians, and children. Minor guardianship proceedings must first be heard in juvenile court rather than probate court, which is one of the most significant changes. The legislation also requires major improvements to the registration, trial, and administrative procedures for guardianships. The following are some of the most critical aspects of the current legislation to be aware of. Background checks. All potential guardians will be subjected to a background check, which will include a criminal background check, a child abuse registry check, a dependent adult abuse registry check, and a sex offender registry check. The background check will be paid for by the individual who files the petition for guardianship. The court can, however, waive the fees if there is good reason. When determining if anyone is a suitable parent, this judge will take the findings of the background check into account. Obligations. If a biological parent agrees to the guardianship, in addition to signing a a consent form, the parent and the guardian must request an agreement outlining the guardian's obligations as well as the parent's or parent's responsibilities. The guardianship arrangement must also specify how long the parent and guardian expect the guardianship to continue. Parental counsel. If a parent does not consent to the guardianship, asks the court for an attorney, and cannot afford one, the court will appoint one for them. Child representation. The court can appoint an attorney to represent the child. If the child is too young to express their desires, the attorney will speak for them. In such cases, the attorney will fight for the best interests of the child. Court-appointed counsel. The court can also appoint a court visitor for the child. The court visitor and the child's attorney cannot be the same person. The court visitor will meet with the child to discuss the guardianship process and find out what the child desires. The parents and the proposed guardian will also speak with the court visitor. The court visitor can pay a visit to the child's home and review medical, educational, and social service records, as well as meet with the child's teachers, doctor, and other service providers. The court visitor will provide a written opinion to the judge about the guardianship. Visitation. Before denying all visitation, correspondence, or interaction between the minor and the minor's parents, a guardian must obtain court approval. Without court permission, a guardian may impose fair limits on the time, location, and manner of visitation between the child and the parent. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out our article linked below. 
and be sure to leave any uh, questions that you have in the comments and subscribe for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.